Okay, I pulled the dash, put the dash back in, just spray painted underneath there. Did I need to do that? Yeah, some bare metal. But uh, um, now I got the bolts in the side there and the side there. And then I'm gonna put my hanger for my steering column on. It's gonna have to go right under there, but I can't use those two holes. I have to use two different ones, but We'll make it work. Just center it and then we should be good. And uh, yeah, this is the, this is the hanger I'm using with the new steering column. And uh, we'll uh, try to, try to set it up so it, so it looks decent. Hello again. Uh, we're kind of adding this to the video I started before. So I've got the uh, hanger for the uh, um, steering column. I bought an I did it steering column, a uh, universal one with uh, uh, not the ignition on the column, but the ignition on the dash. So we're gonna put it in here. All right, basically all I did is find the, I don't know if you can see that, but find the, original spot there and it looks like it might be just slightly off but I think we'll be okay with the steering and we got it in and I got all the bolts on both sides there got the screws on the top here as you might not be able to see there is some friction tape that original car had a remnant of it so I thought well let's throw it in obviously they had a reason for it so We'll put it in too, even though the paint should kind of work as that. So I'm going to end up putting the driver's seat in. Then I'm going to, uh, we're going to have to grab the steering column and the uh, new accelerator pedal for the uh, drive-by wire and set that in so it feels comfortable with the feet. And uh, we'll do that after we put the body back on the frame because I want the, the brake pedal in there so that we know we have enough clearance from the accelerator to the brake pedal and enough clearance for the steering column to fit there because we're going to have to remanufacture this up here. It won't go in that hole because that's too low. We'll probably have to go just a little bit higher, make a flat spot. Um, and uh, that, should, that should get us uh, a good distance. So. Um, that's about it on the dash, so, later. So we're trying to cut the... So. Oh yeah, we're done. Um, and uh, so we're, we're not cutting through with that large... I'm trying not, throat. I'm trying not. <laughs> But uh, so that um, we're, just, we're just we're just so that we can, can uh, you see? I'm, I'm yeah I got it. Oh. I'm videotaping. <laughs> it. Uh, so we're we're just cutting that so that there's a little little bump on the firewall and uh, trying to cut that. Out a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Then we can then okay. we can put our our uh, holder for the uh, for the steering column. In there a lot nicer, and then we'll cut the hole just for the for the steering column. Too. So, yep. So basically, we're we had to cut this this. Uh, I don't know if I can point at it, but there's a was a big bump here with the original firewall, and then we put another piece of steel on the outside, and then we're we just needed a little extra room for the collar that's going to hold the hold the steering column in there. Now we just need to cut the hole for the for the actual clamp down of that collar and uh, we gotta go buy that quick because I don't have one in the shop here so later. Alright so now we're going to uh, drill the hole. We've got one that's just a little bit bigger than the than the pivoting uh, piece on that coupling so my brother's gonna be cutting away.
it is. A nice firewall getting cut a hole in it. I don't know what the deal is, what we're doing, thinking. All right, so we'll start attaching the rest of it. Right now we're just filing the, Pardon? Right now we're just filing the, uh, <laughs> the uh, hole we did. And, uh, and as, as uh, the previous clip showed that we were thinking about having that, that uh, mount on the inside, um, <clears throat> I was completely mistaken on that. We'll, we're putting it on the outside so it, so it uh, has a nicer look. Uh, wasn't thinking, looked at a couple videos. Again, first time ever doing it, so I'm not going to do that on a mistake I made. So now we have a couple of these other, uh, other YouTubers I've done it many times, and, and uh, there was no instructions that I saw with my... Uh, my piece there to save us on the outside, but that's what we're going to do. So, that good. Looking smooth there. Oh, yeah. And here is the goodies I bought with it. Steering column looks like it's pretty heavy duty. You got the wiring, bought a banjo steering wheel with it and a kit. So you can't just buy the steering column and boom, boom, it's there. You gotta do a little bit of looking and uh, make sure you have all the, the adapters that fit uh, your steering columns and stuff like that. So anyway, we're gonna put it together. We're not gonna bore you with the assembly because because uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some issues as we're doing it. So anyway, we'll keep you updated on certain things as they go later. Put that in there, get your uh, horn, this is the horn wire, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Horn wire through the opening down there. All I did is just finger tighten the bolt there. I don't wanna get too carried away until I'm for sure right. And uh, then uh, we're going to be working with putting the ground wire on and uh, the ground wire goes with the horn button also. And we'll continue. Well, we got it installed, but without, not without a lot of hectic, little bit of a gap there, but we seal it on the inside. I think we'll be okay. I think it's, a, looks like it might be a little close to the engine, but I think we can, we can make it work. Um, the, uh, looking pretty nice in there, had to play with this. I think we, we seal it in there. I think we'll be okay. This was the universal mount. I think if I should have went with the more expensive mount, but, but I guess it'll work. Everything looks like it fits good. I have to had it tilt back, which uh, tilted up, I mean, because my belly's a little bit big, but uh, I think I think once we, once we get her going, our next project will be doing the linkage to the front end. And uh, yeah, I think it's coming along, coming along. All right, next time. All right. So there's a lot of people on uh, YouTube that are do a lot better job <laughs> than I can on explaining all the ins and outs. We're just documenting what we're doing on this car. Um, at this moment, we got the heim joint at a decent angle there. I'm going to spot weld that. We mocked it up with uh, a nice dowel and then I ran out of dowel length and I just used a oak piece that uh, my brother ground down to fit right. And it looks like it clears everything. And I just have that aluminum piece there to keep it from, um, keep the sparks away from my nice new headers. All we're gonna do is spot weld right now just to get a placement. Then we're gonna cut all the, um, cut all the, the, the shaft, the D shaft, that double D shaft that we have on them. So I am going to get some out of the way here. 
a little quick. Thank you. Yeah, so we'll, uh, it's pretty solid there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll uh, um, go and uh, take, take this off video and we'll cut all the joints and uh, we should be in pretty good shape. We're gonna do all the divoting of the, for the set screws in the shafts and uh, looks like we got a little bit of a length issue there, but we'll, we'll get her, Get your horned up. So later. Okay. Hey, we uh, we've got the uh, steering in. It's uh, just mocked up right now. We did the cutting, and we've uh, we're going to go and drill the divots in for all the set screws. But it looks like everything clears. It's a little tight here, but it definitely does clear. And looks like everything kind of is going to be okay. Uh, we're not going to weld the, I'm just going to weld this, this piece on here. We're not going to weld this solid. I want to be able to take this off. And that's probably pretty obvious. Probably everybody does that, but I've seen a few people weld these solid to the frames or whatever. But in just in case I got to take the headers off or do something, I want to make sure that we have the ability to get it loose. So uh, we're going to drill the divots in the double D shaft and uh, we should be ready for the next project. Later.